Folsom High School now has a state-of-the-art CTE building. Yeah, this is incredible. Very my mind cool. is blown. Dina is standing by with more. Hey, Dina. Okay, this is really cool. So if you have never seen something like this, it's probably because it doesn't really exist in high school. Yeah. And so we're all going to learn for the first time about this amazing building and the experience that all of the students at Folsom High School get to have. So this morning, Tyler Johnstone, who is the Folsom High CTE division lead, joins us. So good morning to you. First of all, tell us what the CTE building features because there's nothing like it of its kind up here, right? You're, you're correct. There's nothing like it. So this is 15,000 square feet of manufacturing, welding, and wood shop space. Wow. And it's really going to get the, the students prepared for those skills that they're going to need going forward to be successful in lots of different careers in the Sacramento area. Okay, let's talk about having this in high school because I can imagine seeing something like this in a specialized community college, maybe some sort of civil engineering plan moving after high school, but to get these kids exposed to this at an early age, what was the vision behind getting this at Folsom High School? So we started out about in 2012, uh, the voters of Folsom passed uh, Measure G, which helped fund this, and along with some state funding, we said, hey, this is something that we want to include, we want to have our students ready for the industries that Sacramento needs. So we have a computer science program, we have manufacturing, and these are all jobs that are in demand in the Sacramento area. Okay, so tell me how the students get to use this space. Are there specific classes? Do they get to come in for after-school programs? So, yeah, we, we have uh, several different classes. We have okay. a manufacturing program. That's a two-year course sequence. And then we also have a two-year course sequence of engineering, a two-year course sequence of architecture, and computer science. And then when they leave high school, what do they get to bring with them? Is it, is it college credits? Can they potentially go right into a career with these skills? Yeah, both of them. So our students can get college credit uh, through partnerships with American River College and Sierra College. And then they also have skills. So we've had employers come in and just ready to take these students right into the workplace because these are the same tools that you would see in, in a local company. Okay, do I have to be a student at Folsom High to use the space? <laughs> Final question. <laughs> so we have a lot of students that are interested in coming to Folsom High now. Uh -huh. uh, and so we are, we're just open to Folsom High now, but we're excited to, uh, when the safety situation permits it, to, to bring in the families and, and our community partners and let them kind of partnership because that, that is a big thing that went into this building was the partnerships with local industry mm -hmm. and so we talked to them about what machines do you use and what machines do you want your students trained on so they're ready to join our local workforce. Wow, Tyler Johnstone, thank you so much. It is incredible to see this space inside of again Folsom High School and we're so excited to have this in our community. Well done to your entire team. I hope the students understand how big of a deal this is for them. I know, right? They are really prepared for what comes <laughs> after high school now. Thank you so much my friend. Have a great day. We'll send it back to you.